Hey everyone, this is Crystal with Rock and JC Scope Farm. First off, please don't forget forget to like and subscribe to this video. It really does help me out. Um, so as you all know, I went and bred Mama and Baby, and uh, they're one day past their due date, which is totally fine. So I've been keeping a close eye on them, and I come over probably a good two three times today to check on them, and then the last. 10 minutes I had this urge to come over and check on him and I'm glad I did because I noticed that mama's cage has of loose hair rolling around so mama's pulling hair which means she is close to having her litter which makes me very happy very excited and I'm kind of glad we weren't on the road when she uh, had her babies um I went over and checked on baby as well. She's not pulling hair yet, but she is, however, breathing. So I think she too may be in early labor. She has not pulled any hair yet, so I'm gonna just keep a close eye on her. But I have a feeling that she is gonna be very close to having her kids as well. So, um, as soon as these girls pop their litter, I am super excited to see what they give me. All right, I'm gonna try something really quick here, guys. There's Mama. I think she's looking at me, but she's laying there, getting ready to have babies. So, I'm going to leave her alone for now and check on her again in a little bit and see if we can see a litter. But I don't want to bother her. I don't want to mess with her. But, yay, they're finally coming. I'm excited. I've been very anxious the last two days to see these litters. So... I am super excited to see what I get, um, and especially with Mama, because the last few times I've bred her and gotten lit litters out of her, it was one during the summer, which we learned not to do because it gets too hot and the babies actually die from heat stroke, even though um, they were generally up against my house, which uh, in the evening gets the shade. Well they have a hard time with first thing in the morning because it gets too hot. Um, I literally wanted to get these guys bred right before it got too hot so I can at least get a litter raised up before the hot weather came. And then that way by spring or by fall time, I'll have a full two sets of litter um, to either sell off or process or whatever I decide to do with them. Um, but I am hoping to at least get Kate bred after we move. And that may even be a while after that because by the time we actually get over there, it very well could already be too hot. So I may have to wait until, sorry about that, wait until the fall to even breed her, which means I won't get any F1s out of her until the end of this year, if I'm lucky. So. Um, I do have some more updates on the girls over in Arkansas, and I will share with that with you in just a moment. Stay tuned. Hey, girls. Hi. 